Across areas with Galamse activities in the Ashanti region, pits dug illegally were left uncovered when government banned Galamse. It is only Amansia West district officials who are making efforts to cover them with local resources. A number of people have fallen into pits unknowingly and lost their lives. The interministerial task force established to fight the menace transport seized equipment to designated areas. Mr. Ancentre is requesting access is granted the NADMU for work to save life and property. And it's very tempting when the pit is there, the people also they themselves go back to mine in the same pit. Just last year at the Kosumi Fremu district, a 12 year old schoolboy was fallen into one of the pits and died. So I would like to have some of the excavators, the seized one, so that we can use it in the various business assemblies, even in, in the Kumasi metropolis here, and then uh, have them to desert some of our waters and uh, drains, and uh, so that we may also, as a regional Nagbo, we may also benefit from that Galamse activities. And we may as well cover some of the Galamse pits so that there will be more safety within the region. Meanwhile, Mr. Ambusderi says the request will be thoroughly discussed. He says government is working towards ensuring the organization becomes more effective. I've heard your complaints about the Galamse pits. I will discuss with the interministerial committee and I believe that we would see how we can allow you to use the equipment that caused the problem in the first place to solve the problem. He advised people not to stay in certain places. He advised people as far as the container is concerned, isn't it? And they refused. And as a result, four people have died. Not so. I want to tell you this. Next time, they refuse. Let the police know. We shall arrest and take them away. We can't allow people to be hired. Nanea Ojima reporting.